Hello, good evening. Hello, people. Is somebody there? Hi, good evening, Ruth. Ah, we are here again in a new module. Ah, making your life impossible, Ruth, again. <laughs> ah, yes, and it's a pleasure for me too. It's a pleasure to verlos de nuevo. Bueno, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cristina. Gracias. All right. I guess you're on the way home, Cristina. Supongo que va de camino a casa. Yes, it is. Ya casi llego. Cinco minutos. Okay, no problem. All right. Bye. No problem. All right. That's, that's really nice. That's really nice. Gracias. Okay. All right. Me too. Me too. It's a pleasure. All right, people. So, uh, I think we are going to keep the same group. Let me see. Yes. Creo que vamos a tener a mantener casi las mismas personas. Son algunas que se nos han agregado. Uh, and you know they are going to. Let me see. I hope they're connected tonight. So welcome again, people, to this module number four. All right. Uh, this is a little bit, you know, like upper level in comparison to to the topics that we were discussing uh, during the module number three, All right? So we are going to be discussing new contents during these modules, new topics and everything, all right? So, and I hope we, you know, like participate as always do and do, you know, like what we are looking at, that in this case is, to improve, right? That's what we are looking at in this case. All right, so let's start over. All right, so let me see how many people are getting connected. Uh, okay, so we've got the same people as we used to start over before. Uh, and how was your, these days people, que tal pudieron descansar estos días? Que tuvieron de vacación, de clases en la noche. What were you doing? I want to start with Mario. Hi, Mario. What were you doing at this specific time? Uh, mal. Bad? Really? Why? Me acabo de cortar la mano. And, and, and how is that? That was possible, man. Abriendo las conchas. Really? Oh my God, sorry, Mario, sorry. Ya me da más heart. Eso debe doler. Okay, yeah, man, but I hope you to get better, you know. All right, uh, let me see. Yeah, I mean, more and more people are getting connected. So we're gonna wait for a while for these other people to get connected just to start. All right. And uh, in the meantime, I am going to show you people the same, you know, protocol that we generally use from the beginning of every class. You know, the instructions and everything, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, okay, during the development of the module. So I am going to show you that presentation, okay, just a, as a requirement, you know, and then we are going to, okay, start. We're going to start. Good. So which one is it? Ah, it's this one. All right. Let's just start over with this before passing up the attendance list. And then we're going to to, to pass the attendance list. So okay, when, when, where everybody is in here. All right, it says. This is, uh, you know, like the English Forward program. This is the basic module number four, all right? 
and uh, this module we're gonna finish it by the end of uh, November, almost at the end of November, right? So let's just start up with some guidelines. This is like something that you know already, but you know, we got new people in here and they must know me, okay? This is just basic information about me, my, you know, like uh, uh, academic uh, um, studies, uh, my experience working in different, you know, institutions. Uh, for the ones who are going to be the first time with me, my name is Juan Carlos, and I am going to be your teacher, all right, for the rest of this module. So I hope we, you know, like get along each other so you can participate, uh, you feel free, you know, to participate during the classes you know, like dynamic classes and, and asking and answering questions. That's something uh, that I do really like to do. And I hope we continue doing it the same we have been doing it in the past, All right? So let's just start over with this. this. This was just, you know, like a brief thing about me. Now, let's just start over with this. Let's just start with the requirements. Esto es algo que pues, ustedes ya la mayoría lo conocen, pero igual. You know, like since it is the first day, the first hour, we have as a requirement to start over with this, okay? Good. Eh, eh, como parte de los requerimientos, como en todo inicio de módulo, pues se los presentamos. Recuerden que es de suma importancia el poner su nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, right? Porque es importante, pues básicamente así. Las clases están siendo auditadas, ustedes lo saben, y pues ya, uh, digamos, que entren con su nombre, pues se hace más fácil el poder identificar al alumno. Y así mismo también para mí, porque en especial cuando son nuevos, imagínense, entre y aparezca un Galaxy A, A5 o lo que sea, y, y pues no le voy a llamar por ese nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's why it's really important for you people to put your names, all right. En el caso de los oyentes, recuerden que se debe agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre para poderlos identificar, all right. Recuerden que como parte del requerimiento, all right, deben de tener la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, okay, para poder identificar que realmente es usted, que digamos la persona que pues está inscrita en el módulo la persona que está recibiendo All right. la clase. Uh, y pues, como siempre lo digo, el sonido ambiente, right? tratar de minimizarlo lo más posible. Pues, como ustedes ya saben, y pues en módulos anteriores se ha dado, de que hay conversaciones, hay cositas que pues no deberíamos de saberlas, y, y pues a veces salen y se nos olvida que el micrófono está encendido, así que mucho cuidado con eso como siempre, ok alright, y pues recuerden, eh, la participación activa es un factor bastante de, determinante para que ustedes puedan mejorar con cada uno de los contenidos que acá se van a ver right? recuerden que entre más podamos participar, es mejor right? porque así pues ustedes están igual, right? practicando sus, sus habilidades, ok good Eso en cuanto a los requerimientos. Ahora bien. Acá ya hablamos sobre la asistencia. Ok. And Roberto, ayúdeme con, la, con los primeros aspectos, por favor. En cuanto a la asistencia. Uh, Roberto, no, les, no sé, pero creo que no lo escuchamos. No, Robert. Permítame, Roberto. Permítame. Vamos a hacer algo. Le voy a dar un mute y le voy a solicitar audio. Vamos a ver. Eh, no, Roberto. Usted siempre ha tenido ese problema. Casi siempre. All right. I don't know, yo pensé que tenía algún uh, micrófono o algo por el estilo que a lo mejor le causaba esa interferencia. 
Ok, haga eso, Roberto. Vuelva a, a conectarse a lo mejor, ahí se modifica. All right. Ruth, ayúdeme, por favor. La asistencia, sí. Yes. Ok, asistencia al 100% de las clases. Ah, okay. La asistencia no solamente se, se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa. Uh -huh. eh, la asistencia se toma en tres sesiones, 8, 9 y 9.55 pm. Ah, ok, good. Se toma como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o presente y tener cámara encendida. Sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con el facilitador. Permisos no disponibles. Ah, ok. Lo más, lo más, lo más sad. Más ok, no, man. perfecto. Gracias, Ruth. All right. Recuerden que la asistencia es bastante eh, prioritaria en este, en, este, en este curso. Ok, y recuerden que, pues, también no solamente es de, de decir presente y ahí perderse toda la clase, right? Y solo contestar al, a las 8, 9 y antes de irnos, right? También se tiene que participar durante la clase, ok. Y ahora que... sí me escucho, Ticho. Ah, ahora sí, Roberto, ahora sí. Ya estamos bien. Right. Okay, thank you. Good, good. All right. Recuerden, como siempre, la asistencia se va a tomar en tres ocasiones, a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9.55, o en algunos casos, 10, por así decirlo, right? Cuando nos extendamos con algunos temas. Y pues se tomará como válido el escucharlos a ustedes decir presente, or, in this case, present, ¿ok? Muy bien. Y pues mantener la cámara encendida al momento igual también de, de, de pasar la asistencia, ¿ok? Y al finalizar la clase, recuerden, por orden de list, igual siempre se ha hecho las sesiones uno a uno disponibles, ¿ok? En las cuales pues me voy a quedar siempre con uno de ustedes para poder eh, dar como una retroalimentación sobre la clase o las clases anteriores que se hayan visto para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a los temas que se han, se han visto. All right. Eso en cuanto a la asistencia. Good. Y acá pues otro aspecto bastante importante, bastante relevante de tomar en cuenta. All right. uh, las tareas y evaluaciones. All right. Vamos a ver. Ah, Miss Guadalupe. Guadalupe Noemí. Ah, muy bien. Ella es una nueva participante que se nos ha uh, agregado al grupo. Buenas noches, Guadalupe. Right, bienvenida uh, a Gracias. este módulo. Ok, good. Guadalupe, ¿podría ayudarme a leer el, los, eh, los primeros dos aspectos en cuanto a las evaluaciones? Sí. Eh, tareas y evaluaciones, dice, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Y las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, justo después de cada clase. Ok, gracias Guadalupe. Bien, como en todos es sabido que necesitamos como mínimo un 80% en promedio en cuanto a las tareas y evaluaciones para pues, poder completar el curso de manera satisfactoria, ¿ok? Recuerden asimismo también que las tareas pues igual están en, las plata, en la plataforma como siempre, ¿ok? Y pues acá dice justo después de cada clase, pero recuerden que básicamente el propósito de la plataforma es que ustedes puedan eh, practicar lo más que se puede con el aspecto de los temas. Así que si ustedes dicen, ah, me gustaría eh, ver de qué se trata la tarea del día siguiente, voy a tratar de hacerla. Bien, lo pueden hacer, no hay ningún problema. La idea acá es que ustedes puedan practicar lo más que puedan. Ok, da esta idea. Bien, luego dice que todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada lunes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro pues es enviado al INSAFOR semanalmente. En este caso, ¿por qué el día lunes? Porque, bueno, todavía no nos han, no, no nos han dicho, pero estoy casi seguro de que eh, el día miércoles no vamos a, a tener clase, ¿verdad? porque si no, si más lo recuerdo, es a suerte. Entonces, vamos a, vamos a eh, extendernos hasta el día lunes para el, la finalización eh, de la semana, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? 
Entonces, dicho eso, básicamente, la fecha límite para terminar el examen de medio curso, ustedes ya saben, el midterm, right, que por lo general se encuentra en la semana 2, será el día lunes 7 de octubre. All right, noviembre, perdón, noviembre en este caso. Ahí se nos se les pasó. All right, y pues como siempre, antes de medianoche, recuerden, ¿ok? Antes de medianoche. Y ya pues la fecha límite para terminar el examen final en este caso sería el lunes 28 de noviembre, ¿ok? Right? Que básicamente ese sería el último día eh, que estaríamos culminando ya el módulo. All right. Recuerden que el manual pues puede ser descargado uh, de la plataforma y también pues si no lo tienen lo podemos compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp. No sé si todos acá ya están dentro del grupo. ¿Ya se lograron unir? Right. Ok, espero que, espero que sí. Right. Yo no, pero ya lo voy a hacer. Ok, good, porque es importante. Mm -hmm. Recuerde que ahí, pues, básicamente se envía el, el manual. Bueno, ya lo enviaron hace temprano, lo, lo, lo enviaron, ¿ok? Entonces, me avisa Cristina para poderle reenviar de nuevo el, el manual, ¿ok? Pero, Entonces, el manual ya lo tengo impreso, Cristo, pero sí ah, me voy a unir a la... All right, perfecto. Sí. Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Good. Sí, perdónenme, no sé si había pasado lista. Ah, no, todavía no. Ok. Ah, y pues algunos, ya. ajá, sí, sí. Y pues algunos botones, recuerden, botón de silencio que lo van a encontrar ahí siempre después de que participemos. Eh, la cámara encendida, recuerden. Y con el asunto de los breakout rooms, cuando vamos a trabajar, recuerden que siempre va a estar ese botoncito de ask for help. Siempre y cuando ustedes necesiten ayuda, cuando ya estemos trabajando en los breakout rooms, ustedes pueden oprimir ese botoncito y pues... Ahí voy a llegarles, ¿ok? Para poder eh, proveerles uh, algún tipo de apoyo que necesiten. All right. So, básicamente, eso es um, igual. Recuerden, parte de los lineamientos que siempre, pues, tomamos all right, a principio de cada módulo. Good. So, I'm going to stop sharing this thing. Give me one second. And... Now we're going to start, you know, with, with the main things that we are going to be discussing. But before doing that, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Let me see how many people are getting connected right now. Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Present teacher. Okay, good. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, good. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Guadalupe, de casualidad, ¿usted tiene dos, dos cuentas unidas ahorita? Sí, es que la computadora la ocupo para ver mejor la pantalla. Ah, es que okay. Ah, okay. Estoy viendo si tengo la cámara, entonces ahorita me conecto del teléfono y de la computadora para poder ver mejor. Ah, ok, all right. All right, let's see. Iris Cecilia. Iris Cecilia, right, she's not here. Jorge Ismael. Jorge, are you there? Ah, okay. All right, good, Mr. Uh, Jose Moises. Jose Moises, okay, he's not there. Ruth Maribel. Ruth, are you there? Mm, okay, I think Ruth doesn't listen to us. All right, but she's there. It's her dijo Ruth Maribel. Yes. Uh, no, soy yo, no. <laughs> no, 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 Judith. Let me see. Ahora sí. Judith. Are you there, Judith? Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. Right. Nos siguen evening. cambiando el nombre. <laughs> <laughs> Permítame, es que se aparece acá. Ya la voy a modificar entonces. Qué raro. Carla Ivania. Present <laughs> teacher. Ah, ok. Good, good. Ah, Carla Lorena. 
Yeah. I'm here, teacher. All right, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present, teacher. <laughs> Catherine, I said Catherine. No, soy yo otra vez. No, no it's, it's name is Catherine Guadalupe. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> Okay. Viene, con todo lo, viene con todos los ánimos, Rupo. Exacto, ya ven que viene con todo. Al contrario. <ríe> All right. Kevin Ramiro. Present okay. teacher. Ah, ok, good. María Elena. Present teacher. Ah, ok, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay. Nice. Mario Ernesto. Present. Monica Maricela. Monica, are you there? Okay, it's not there. Oscar Armando. Ok, a ver. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia Guadalupe. It's not, it's not your root. <laughs> ok. All right, but, but I guess she's not there. Uh, Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ok. Good. Ruth Guadalupe. Present. Ya hablo Ruth, dígame, Tiche, no me diga más. Sorry, Ruth. Ruth, Ruth Asensio. Ok. Right. Santos Cristina. Present, Tiche. Ok. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present, Tiche. Ok. Good. All right, so basically, uh, is somebody here that I haven't mentioned? Hay alguien acá que no he mencionado? Fabricio. Déjame, <laughs> Fabricio, let me see. I don't have Fabricio over here. Sí, ya lo perdimos, ya. Yeah, I mean, I don't have Fabricio on the list. That is weird. Let me see. Okay. But anyways, let's continue then, people. Give me one second. I'm going to show you the presentation that we're going to have. And let's start with the first topic. It's going to be this one. Okay, good. So the first topic that we're going to be discussing right tonight is going to be about how to use count and non-count nouns. Have you ever heard this, these words before? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado de estos temas antes? I think we have, we have discussed this before. Non and non count nouns. I mean, count and non count nouns. Mm -hmm. No people? No. Okay, somebody else? Not sure. Ah, okay. No. Good. Okay, good. We're going to see what is that about, all right? In a moment. Okay, let's start over. All right, as always, what's the most relevant in the class agenda? 
all right, for the rest of the class, you know. Uh, when I welcome the participants, I, I already did that thing, right? Especially for the new ones. Welcome to this module number four, right? Uh, I want to see some questions to discuss now, all right? Right after this slide. Then we are going to start with uh, a couple of words just to practice or to start up that we will need just to make uh, some practices uh, later on. And then we are going to introduce how much and how many together with countable and uncountable nouns, of course. Okay, and then we're gonna do some exercises in the manual, right? We're going to end up with some exercises in the manual. Good. So let's start. It says, questions to discuss. We're gonna do this section right before starting the main topic every night with the idea for you to practice as much as you can, people, all right? That's the idea uh, for this type of questions at the beginning of each class. All right, and the first question is going to be this one. All right, let me see. Carla Ivania, could you please help me out reading this one? Okay, uh, what do you what do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay. What do you like to buy when you go shopping, people? Generally, when you go uh, out to shop something, what is like the most common things that you go and buy? Let's just start over with that. Can you think on something like, like that that is really common for you to go on a or, or, you know shopping? Mm, I like buy shoes. Ah, you like to buy shoes? Yeah. Okay. And, and and talking about shoes, all right. And now you're you're it's it's not a matter of of discrimination or something, people, but how much time, Roberto, do you spend buying a, a pair of shoes, for example? Um, one hour, no, one two hours. hours. Really, one or two hours? Jesus Christ! Hey, that's yes, a, that's that's a lot. Why, Roberto? Why too much time? Well, but si no me gusta, voy a otra tienda y así voy. Ah, okay, okay, all right. I generally ask that because I mean. Uh, what, the, the, the kind of people who used to, you know, like uh, take a long time to buy something, especially shoes, are women, okay? No es por nada, pero eh, 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 cuando se refiere a compras, en especial de zapatos, acá las, las, las damas son las que suelen llevar un poco más de tiempo <laughs> on buying those things. I don't know if, if I am... I'm running here, too. but but it, 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 it takes time for them. Ah, Jesus. Tiene toda la razón. Tiene toda la razón. Es cierto, es cierto. Nos, no, nos tomamos más tiempo las mujeres. Ajá, pero entonces, Cristi, ¿cuánto tiempo se lleva usted comprando zapatos? Ajá. You should start over with that. Cuando ando... <laughs> Cuando hablo con mi esposo, este, compro lo necesario, pero cuando yo salgo sola me tomo mi tiempo. Porque él es más rápido, él rapidito a lo que va, compra rápido y vamos. Pero, y sí, sí tiene un poquito de paciencia, pero es que uno siempre necesita un poco más de tiempo. <risa> <risa> siempre es así, teacher, siempre. A, a no ser que hay algunas quizás no, vea, pero... Eh, Pero sí, la mayoría necesitamos un poco más de tiempo para, para comprar, ah, para okay. decidir. O sea, ajá, ajá. Es okay. muy cierto. Sí. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Let me see. But besides going, uh, you know, like, uh, and buying shoes, what else do you generally buy? Uh, for example, Guadalupe, what do you generally buy when you go out shopping? Uh, 
Aproximadamente, <ríe> no sé cómo decírselo en inglés, pero aproximadamente Ajá. A tres horas cuando voy con mi amiga y muchas veces no compro nada. <ríe> Le creo, le creo. I know about people. Es que ya cuando me lo veo. Ajá. En serio. Ay, sí. Oh, my God. Ok, all right. Good. Por lo general suele suceder. Y, y generally happens. Yeah. Ok, good. And uh, let me see. What about you, Judith? How much time do you generally spend? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Uh -huh. uh, when the, what, when buy, no, what, when is buy, when is compra the shoes? Uh -huh. uh, three hours, quizá. Three hours. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, and for example, and when you go and buy clothes, um, how much Monday. time? When you go Monday. out to buy clothes, clothes, dresses, uh, shirts, skirts, oh, how much time? The same thing? The same amount of uh, time? And three hours, four hours. Three hours. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because it's shopping. When, uh, when I don't have much time, then yes. <laughs> okay. 30, okay. 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you had to go on a running. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good, Judith. Thank you. Mario. What do you generally go out to buy, Mario? Uh -huh. Uh, uh, I like to buy a food. Um, takes a long time to search. Mm, okay, okay, good. That is an average time. Nice, Mario. Let me see. I'm going to start asking to people who got the cameras off. There are a lot of people that got the cameras off. Why do you people? A los que la mayoría que tienen la cámara apagada están trabajando, están durmiendo. What you doing, people? Yeah, man, because I got a lot of people with the cameras off. Bueno, en algunos casos hay algunos que debo suponer que están en el último día de mes doing reports and everything. All right, and that's understandable. Okay, good. Uh, ah. Yes. Muchos en inventario hasta ahora. Exactly, exactly. That's what generally happens sometimes. Good, let me see. Mm. And you, Ivania, how much time does it take you when you go shopping? Mm, maybe three hours. That means, okay, that's acceptable. That's, that's the average, right? Good. This is como la media en la que anda la mayoría, right? Two, three hours, right? Good. Algunas más, all right? But it depends on the time that you have, right? That depends. Okay. I'm going to see the last participations. Marilyn, what about you, Marilyn? Yeah, tell me. How much time do you generally spend when you go out shopping? Okay, it depends, I think. So depends because when, when I know that I want to buy, I think maybe one or two hours. But when I don't know uh, that I... I want to buy uh, one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one complete day? Really? Yeah, because in, uh, I I went to I I go to to different uh, 
uh, places in in only one day and and for the reason the I, I say that it depends. <laughs> one question, Marilyn. You live in San Salvador? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Just imagine if you no, live but, in San Salvador. Okay. Or, okay. Or uh, in uh, it depends because in, in uh, the right occasion, so for example, the graduation or the special event that you need to use uh, the specific clothes, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. And also uh, uh, for the reasons so I, I say that it depends because, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's acceptable. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Uh -huh. You have to look for a very specific kind of clothes. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Good. That's acceptable, Marilyn. So you spend more than one day. Uh -huh. Wow. That's nice. Okay. Oh, let me see what it says in here. Okay, yes, and you continue working. Good. Can you guys tell me, and this is for everybody, okay? Por lo menos los que no están de oyentes, quiero que me respondan esto. Provide a list of at least four products you buy every time you go shopping. Me podrían mencionar por lo menos cuatro cosas que por lo general ustedes cada vez que van de compras suelen llevar. Pueden tomar nota. You can take notes and tell me what are those products that you generally buy every time you go shopping. All right? And I'm going to ask everybody why, uh, you know, like to discuss these things with you guys. Just let me know when you got them. Shopping incluyendo ir al supermercado. Yeah, I mean, including to the supermarket. Okay, so milk, fruits, ah. vegetable, and cheese. And cheese. Yeah. Mm. Okay, good. Do you eat very healthy? My son eats very healthy. You got a son? Yeah. I have a, a little baby. So it's my little baby, but he has um, 11 years. 11 years old? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought, how old are you, Marilyn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I was guessing uh, probably 22 or something like that. But now, since you have a kid with 11 years old, so you sí. must not. No, have de, de, ya no pase de 22, ahí me quedé. <laughs> more, than, more than 10? I am, thir I am 30 years old. 30 years old? You're from 1992? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What yeah. month? Which month? Uh, July. So, I am ju second July. July the second. Yeah. I am like fourteen days older than you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, like fourteen, fifteen days older than you. In serio? Okay. I am. I am from June the eighteenth. Oh, sí, pero unos días nada más. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a couple of days. Yeah, but, yeah, but, pero esa es mi edad. <laughs> Por eso tengo un pequeño niño de esa edad. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. that's good. Cool, so that's the type of food that you generally, all right, buy on the type of items. Good, good. Okay, good, good. I'm going to start with Ruth. What are your products, Ruth? Son bastantes, pero quizás No sé qué se pronuncia. Which one? Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Ah, okay. All right. Good. Like like the most common. Right? Like the most common. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you, Ruth. Roberto, what about you? Um, I buy bread, vegetable, and cookies, and frappuccino. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. <clears throat> Good. Cristina, what about you? Hello, teacher. Eh, eh, muchas cosas. Lo que haga falta en este momento. Yo hago un listadito de lo que hace falta. Este, pero por lo general, eh, soy paper, eh, detergent. Así se dice, teacher, detergent. Ajá. Detergent. Eh, Sofo, fluor disinfectant. No, oh, okay, good, good. There you go. Thank you. Judith? Buy shirt, food, and shoes, and coffee. Now, oh, coffee. Wow, oh, that's a really good one. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Mario? Hello. Hola. All right. What's your list, Mario? Oh, I usually put the boy food, detergent, toothpaste, coffee, toilet paper. Anyway. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Let me see. Guadalupe, what about you? I usually uh, buy <laughs> food, makeup, medicines, and cleaning products. Okay, <laughs> good, 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 good. There you go. Thank you. Let me see. Cristina, you participated already, right? I you moved. Yeah. I, sí, your, your I moved. Good, good. <laughs> ah, all right, good. Maria Elena? And the teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. What are those products that you generally buy when you go shopping? Um, cereal, cookies, and fruits, and clothes with my daughter. Ah, okay. Clothes for your daughter. Okay. Eso no debe faltar, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time. That's what I generally do with my baby. Okay, thank you, Marilena. Uh, let me see. Gabriel, I think. Are you busy, Gabriel? Yes, teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Good. Uh, what are the products that you generally buy when you go shopping? Um, donuts and implements of exercise. Uh, okay, good. Okay, good, good. Uh, Ivania, what about you? Mm, um, milk, uh, eggs, uh, cereal, and Pringles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and Pringles, really? Yes, in my song. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, those ones are really nice. They're really nice. That's the reason why I used to like going to the Dollar City, man. In there, I can find them cheaper than in other places. Yes. Yeah, and pinguinitos. Exactly. That's another one. Very good. Lo malo que cuando voy al dólar siempre procuro andar nada más lo, lo mínimo, porque siempre co compro cosas que creo que son necesarias, pero en realidad no. Yeah, I mean. No sé si a ustedes les pasa, pero a mí sí bien seguido. El dólar dice, dice qué es lo que nosotros necesitamos, no nosotros. <ríe> exactly, exactly. El otro día me compré un libro de unos dinosaurios que todavía ni siquiera he abierto. Estaban bonitos, pero, bueno, that was, that was caído, that was caído. All right, 
Good. Thank you, uh, Ivania. Uh, let me see, Jocelyn is working yet. Uh, uh, Monica, are you there, Monica? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, good. When you go out shopping, what do you generally buy, Monica? Milk. Uh -huh. Vegetables uh -huh. and meat. Okay, good. There you go. That's just like the most common products. Okay, thank you, Monica. Uh, Kevin. Kevin Ramiro. Are you there, mister? No, okay, I guess he's not there. Jorge? What about you, mister? Uh, what uh, regularly by the month uh, will be soup, uh, watch, pictures, and uh, bells. Uh, give me one second. Eh, ¿Está usando algún tipo de audífono, mister? Es que se le escucha bien cortado. Eh, sí, estoy usando. De hecho, sí escucho bastante cortado también la, la clase. Es por los audífonos. Uy, posiblemente, o sea, se, sean a los audífonos, o sea, la, oh, oh, oh. Algún, algún tipo de interferencia en cuanto a la señal, sí, quizá. Eh, más bien que la, la señal, porque sí, se, la clase la escucha muy cortada. Ajá, igualmente a usted. Creo que casi todo lo escuchamos así, ¿verdad? Cortado. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, well, that's, that's, that's ok, Mr. Proly. Uh, later on, you can fix that, that thing. All right. Good. All right, people. Uh, thank you for your participation uh, on these things. Now, let's go up in, in, into these things. Now, Let's start with vocabulary. Good. When we talk about vocabulary, we're going to see vocabulary related to uncountable nouns and vocabulary related to countable nouns. Cuando hablamos de uncountable nouns, hablamos de nombres que no podemos contar. All right? De ahí viene la palabra. Nombres incontables. And when we talk about uncountable nouns, ¿Qué nombres son incontables que podamos mencionar? Could you help me out with a, a couple of them, please? Me gustaría escucharlos. ¿Qué nombres no podemos contar? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo? Uh -huh. Vocabulary, of course. The, the stuff. Uh, could you repeat that again, Mario, please? The star. Ah, the stars. Okay, good. Good. What else? The sand. Sugar. Sugar. No. Okay, sugar, the sand, oil, milk. Okay, all of those things, all right, are uncountable. Even the money. The money is uncountable. All right. That is uncountable. Yeah, one second. So in here, we're going to see a couple of words that are in a somehow uncountable, that we will need them to create some, some examples, all right, and some practices. Take a look at this. Size. That's the first word. Size. What is size for you guys? Tamaño o medida. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All of those ones, right? Talla, tamaño, medida. Okay. Good. What about this one? Wave. Peso. Very good. Peso. That's what it means. Okay. That's wave. What about this one? Very good. 
This one is price. Okay, price. Dimensions. This one is like the dimensions. What is that? All right, medidas so dimensiones de algo, right? Yeah, yeah viene a ser lo mismo. <clears throat> Good. So we got the, uh, some words in there, right? So we will need these words later on for something. <clears throat> Good, I guess you have them. Okay, let's continue. Battery life, what is that? Okay, good. Yeah, basically we're talking about the, you know, like how much the life of the battery is. Okay, la duración de la batería. Very good. So we got a couple of those words. Those words, we will need them later on, as I said, for a practice that we want to do. Okay. This one is related to uncountable nouns. Now, let's move on. Storage. What is the storage? <laughs> okay, very good. Good. That's what it is, right? Storage means almacenamiento. Very nice. Let's continue. Now we got function. What is function? Idea, no. Hmm? Idea, no. Mm. Pensamiento. Función. Okay, in this case, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, or as a verb, funcionar. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. Good. Now, let's move. Warranty. What do we got here? All right, good evidence, Ceci. Okay, warranty. What is that? Guarantee. Exactly. Guarantee. Okay, yeah, I mean, good. Uh, most products have this this one, right? Guarantee. Good. Generalmente, cuando ustedes compran un, pro, un, un producto, eh, suelen comprar garantía extendida? Well, ask a question. No. For example, if you want to buy a refrigerator, uh, a washing machine, or something like that. Yo nunca te. Solo la que ellos dan. Never. No sabía que existía. Sí, existe una garantía extendida de como de cuatro años, algo así, o cinco, algo así. El caso es que por lo general casi nunca, casi nunca la hacen. La, digamos, se toma efecto. Digamos que si un producto se le arruina a usted a los cuatro años, le cubre la garantía, pero oh, that's a lot of things to do. Ay. Eh, lo, que pasa, lo que pasa a ti es que no quiere gastar en eso. Exactly, because it's expensive. Es que, ajá, no, no, muchas veces no se tiene, bueno, nunca se tiene presupuesto para eso. It's really expensive, mm -hmm. anda como por los, ¿qué? ¿300 dólares más o menos? Something like sí, that. Yo pago, ah, yo pago 300 dólares. Ah. Yeah, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. for an extended yeah. warranty. Just in case. Uh -huh. yeah, that's a lot. Aparte que los vendedores no le dicen a uno, mire, extienda su garantía. A los vendedores tampoco lo dicen. Uh -huh. In some cases, they don't say that. Good. Some extra vocabulary. Good. So we got, this one is mostly countable nouns, all right? Computers. Everybody knows what's that. 
So I'm not gonna stop, uh, you know, like giving the translation. The only thing I can tell you guys that this one is a countable noun, right? Y acá pues ya estamos hablando de nombres que podemos contar, okay? O countable nouns, right? Like computers. Podemos contar las computadoras? Yeah, I mean, claro que sí. Right, like one computer, two computers, and so on. Cell phones, there's another one, right? Jobs, all right? We can even count jobs. Podemos contar los trabajos. Desks. Employees, all right? So we can count employees. Students, all right? So we can count students. And we can even count sodas, right? When we talk about kinds of sodas. So all of them are countables, right? Y así pues existen muchísimos más, right? Nombres que podemos contar. Good, I will give you an, um, some, some time for you to copy that then before moving on. Okay, you finished copying? Okay, nice. Let's continue. Now, we're gonna see a couple of structures, okay? Very important at the moment of choosing or asking questions using countable and uncountable nouns, all right? And we're gonna start over with how much. ¿Qué significa how much, people? Vamos a ver si recordamos esto. What is how much? ¿Qué tanto? ¿Qué tanto? All right, ¿qué, ¿Qué tanto? tanto? Okay, o cuánto mm -hmm. en some cases, right? Good, good. Generalmente, esta estructura se utiliza para crear preguntas utilizando nombres incontables, nombres que no podemos contar por lo general, okay? That's the structure, all right? basically uh, functioning. And this is the structure. Take a look at this. Y esta sería básicamente la estructura gramatical sobre la cual estaríamos uh, trabajando. It says how much plus uncountable nouns plus do or does, depending, remember, if it is first person or plural, you use do. If it is third person or singular, you use does, right? Plus subject, plus verb, and plus question form. All right, that is basically, all right, the structure that we use. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at some examples. All right, check them out. Okay, let's see. Judith, help me on reading the question. How much water do you drink? Okay, very good. 
So in that case, we got how much water did you drink? Okay, the answer for this question, um, let me see. Ceci? Hello? Could you please uh, read the answer for this question? <coughs> okay. I drink a lot of water. Uh, okay, there you go. Thank you, uh, Ceci. Are you sick, Ceci? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> I tell you we're sick or something like that. Okay, <laughs> good. Ah, generalmente, eh, para este tipo de respuestas, eh, usualmente usamos los famosos quantifiers. Do you remember the quantifiers, people? From the past modules, I'm talking about some, a lot of, many, much. The quantifiers that we used to uh, use, generally they are used in these type of answers, okay? Because uh, they are in a general way talking about the amount of something. So in this case, remember the word water, it doesn't have something, you know, like countable, right? So, but you can say a lot of water, right? And you are mentioning a quantity in that case, an amount. All right, good. Take a look at this one. Mm, let's see. Who can help me out? All right, Marily, help me out reading this one, please. Okay, how much does the computer cost? Okay, good. How much does the computer cost? Good. So in this case, uh, it is a little bit different, the structure, if you take a look in there. How much? And you got in there, okay? Does, okay? Because you're talking about something in singular, that in this case is the computer. How much does the computer cost? Okay? Good. ¿Por qué en este caso usamos un auxiliar después, justo después de how much? Okay. Porque en este caso... La palabra computer es algo que podemos contar, es algo contable. Entonces, es un tanto ilógico decir how much computer. En ese caso se traduciría como, ah, qué tanta computadora. And it doesn't make sense, right? So in this case, what we're doing is not asking exactly uh, about the computer. We're asking about the price, okay? The cost of the computer. All right, and remember, with uh, the word cost or uh, talking about money, that's something uncountable. And generally you use how much. So that's why it says, how much does the computer cost, right? I um, mean, cuánto cuesta la computadora, right? And it says, it costs $500. So in este caso, recuerden, llevamos el verbo con S. En este caso, estaría costs. Porque hablamos de algo en singular, right? We are talking about something in singular. Good. Until here, people, do you have any question? Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta? Something that might not be clear for you right up to now? Algo que no esté del todo claro para ustedes? I am speaking too much and I need participations from you guys. Any question? No? Okay, good. So let's continue. Okay, let's take a look at these examples over here. Let me see. Mm, Kevin Ramiro, are you there? Uh, Kevin? Okay, I think he's not there. Uh, let me see. Maria Elena? 
Are you there, Miss? I did. Okay, good. Could you please help me out reading the question? How much time do you spend at work? Ah, okay, very good. How much time do you spend at work? There you go. Cristina? Hello, teacher. Answer the question. Uh, I spend, I, um, I spend a hour at work. Okay, I spend eight hours at work. Very good. Okay. Very good. En este caso, igual, estamos hablando sobre algo incontable. Por lo general, cuando hablamos de time, en este caso sí, es algo incontable. How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Okay. La pregunta puede ser incontable, pero la respuesta por lo general suele ser contable. Okay. Porque ahí ya podemos mencionar minutes, hours, all right, etc. Good. Check a look at this one. Uh, Gabriel, help me already. Okay. How much is the price of the of that cell phone? Now, okay, very good. How much is the price of that cell phone? It says. Good. This question now in this case is using the verb to be. Okay. And we got the answer in here. Check this out. Roberto, help me reading. It is $400. It is $400, okay. Thank you, Roberto. There you go. Entonces, recuerden, si en vez de does ponemos is en la pregunta, en la respuesta igual tiene que ir, okay? There you go. Well, Lupe, help me out reading the next one, please. How much traffic is there? Okay, how much traffic is there? Good. So, in this case, help me out answering this one. ¿Cómo me responderían a esta pregunta ustedes? How much traffic is there? People? Vamos a algo, me gustaría leerlos. Escríbanme esa pregunta en su cuaderno y me le dan respuesta. En lo que me le dan respuesta voy a pasar a asistencia. Ok. Good. Write it down. How much traffic is there? All right, ¿terminaron de copiar la pregunta? I guess, yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna stop sharing this thing. And I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Gabriel Zau. Present teacher. No, okay, good. Guadalupe Noemi. Present teacher. All right, it is Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Dame now. Ahora sí está en el estado oficial. It is good. That is nice. Jorge Ismael. Present okay, Mr. Jose Moises. Jose Moises. Okay, no there. Judith Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Ivania. 
Gracias, teacher. Ok, nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe. Catherine, all right, she's not there. Kevin Ramiro. Okay, he's, he's not listening or something like that. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, nice. Let me see, Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, Monica Maricela. Present. Okay. Good. Oscar Armando. Okay, he's not here. Patricia Guadalupe. Neither Patricia. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nice. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Ok. Jocelyn, I, I, I thought you said. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Yeah, then. Ok. Very good. So let's start over with, uh, with what you were doing. Ok. And I'm going to start with, uh, let me see. I'm gonna place again the presentation and I want to listen to you guys. Okay, if I say, how much traffic is there? Algún voluntario que me, re, que me lea su respuesta, por favor. Yo. Teacher, traffic, traffic is with congestion. Ah, okay. Thank you, Cristina. Somebody else? Roberto? The traffic is very heavy. <laughs> the traffic is very heavy. Okay, good. That's another one. That's really common there by, by the place where you live, right? Okay, good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Depending on the day, teacher. What do you say, Jorge? Depending on the day. Ah, depending on the day. Really? Depende del día? En serio? Yes. Okay. When is the day in which you, you see more traffic? ¿Cuál es el día en el que ve más tráfico, Jorge? Friday. Uh, for example, uh, day Friday. On Friday. Oh. There are more traffic on Friday. Ah, okay. Curiosamente, in, in this area, it's más que todo miércoles, and I don't know why. That's weird. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, you were saying something, Mario. What were you saying? There is a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. Ah, okay, good. You're applying the structure. Thank you, Mario. Somebody else, Judith, what is yours? It traffic two hours. Ah, okay, thank you. Ruth? The traffic is a lot. Ah, okay, there you go. Let me see, Guadalupe, what you have in there? If there is a lot of traffic. Ah, okay. There is a lot of traffic. Ivania, what about you? Mm, is there a lot of? Is there a lot of? 
Mm. In this case, we're going to do something. Porque en una oración ya tipo respuesta, por lo general sería there is. Is there es más que todo para una pregunta, ¿ok? Solo okay. hay que invertirlo. All right. Uh, there okay. is. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. Mónica, what do you have? Mm, I think Monica is busy. Ceci? Mm, my answer? Uh -huh. There is a lot of traffic and the patient is over. Uh -huh, okay, very good. Thank you, Ceci. Good. And we're going to ask for the last participation. Marilyn? Okay, um, yeah, the traffic is quite heavy due to yeah. winning of the road of the, the, to the, the, the Puerto de la Libertad. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Yeah. Thank you, Marilyn. There you <laughs> go. If you see, there are a variety of answers to this type of questions. Hay una gran variedad de respuestas para este tipo de preguntas, solo que, en este caso, teniendo en cuenta, eh, en algunos casos tendemos que utilizar la estructura que por lo general ocupamos en la pregunta. Por ejemplo, listen. all of your answers are correct, okay? But the most common one is that if you ask with the, uh, is there, so you can put there is a lot of traffic. Or oh, quite the traffic is, there is a quite heavy traffic and so on, okay? Este sería, uh, digamos, como el más común. Pero todos los que han mencionado anteriormente, right? They are correct also. Okay, good. Remember, how much is mostly with uncountable nouns, okay? Recordemos entonces que how much es más que todo para nombres que son incontables. Good. Now, let's move on. Vamos a avanzar entonces. How many? What is how many people? Ahora bien, si vimos que how much es cuánto, what is how many? Cantidad. It is expressing a quantity. All right. Good, Mario. Thank you. Okay. How many en este caso sería? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? Dependiendo del tipo de vocabulario que tengamos, esa es la traducción. ¿Cuántos o cuántas? All right. And we will see the structure. This is the structure that we got about how many. Look. How many plus countable nouns plus duo does? plus subject, plus member, plus question form, right? Good. This is the one. Good. So let's take a look at the first example question. Ruth, help me out reading, please. How many computers do you have? How many computers do you have? Okay, very good. What am I asking in that case? ¿Qué estoy preguntando ahí? ¿Cuántas computadoras tienes? Okay, there you go. Good. ¿Cuántas computadoras tienes, right? How many computers, all right, do you have? So, en este caso, si ven, ya después del how many, tenemos una palabra que indica cantidad, right? So, this is something, you know, that represents a quantity. Good. So, in this case, we answer generally with a number. For example, I have three computers. I have one computer. I have two computers, etc. Okay. 
Good. Next. How many jobs do you need? Check this out. La palabra jobs es algo contable. Ok. Porque en este caso ya estamos hablando de trabajos. Ok. Something that we can count. So it says, I need two jobs. I need one job. I need three jobs and so on, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Cool. Talking about this one, how many jobs do you need people? <laughs> this is a random question. I'm gonna ask three people for them this. That's huh? Uh, for example, I'm going to start with Roberto. How many jobs do you need? Or oh, you are you're okay with only one? No, oh, I need three jobs. <laughs> you need three jobs at least. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. I, I was about to say the same. Good, good. What about you, Mario? How many jobs do you need? I need one job. Yeah, you need just one job and that's it. Okay, good, good. Yours is like a little bit more peaceful. Good, let me see, somebody else. Just one more person. I'm not gonna ask Ruth because Ruth is a full-time job in there. So I'm not gonna ask, no le voy a preguntar a ella. Let me see. I'm gonna ask somebody else. Cecilia. How many jobs do you need, Ceci? I think we need uh -huh. just still thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we need time to rest. Uh huh. How many, how many jobs do you think or you consider we need? One job. One job and that's it? Yes. Okay, good. Just in case, if you have availability, right, that will be an option. Like, uh, uh, for example, in my case, right? I'm working in a different company during the day and I'm working with uh, this company at nights with you guys. Ah, so in this case, I got two jobs. Ooh, and it's tiring sometimes. Good. Tired. Yes, a little bit. All right. Um, <laughs> uh huh. And what? <laughs> no, 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 no. And what, Ceci? Imprudent. <laughs> what? Well, what, what were you about to say? ¿Qué iba a preguntar, Ceci? Oh, the <laughs> um, Y vale la pena. Así lo intentamos. Yes. It, it's a little bit stressing, but yes. Mm -hmm. Stressing because, you know, it's not the same working with you guys, you know, grown-up people, than working with the teenagers, People that they don't want to go to study and they go because they are obligated by their parents, things like that, you know. Uh, it's a little bit stressing sometimes, uh, but at the end it's worth it because, I mean, if you know how uh, uh, strategies to work with those kids, you get good results. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. No. Okay, there you go. Take a look at this uh, at this question. The last one from this slide. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jorge, help me on reading this question, please. My company is fifteen hundred. Yeah, the, the last question, Jorge, the last one. How many employees does 
does your company have? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean that one. How many employees does your company have? In that case, the word employees, remember, is countable, right? In that case, it's countable. Good. And the answer to this comp, uh, to this uh, question, Roberto, let me out with that, please. It has uh, 160 employees. Okay, good. It has 150 employees. There you go. Good. So in that case, we're talking about something, you know, like with numbers, right? Good. Bueno, recuerden entonces, aquí ya estamos hablando de cosas que podemos contar, just to put it like that. Good. And what are the type of things that we generally can count, people? Good. Uh, until here, do you have any question before moving on with the exercises? Do you have any question, people? Tenemos alguna pregunta en cuanto al uso de how many? Or oh, everything is okay, or todo va quedando claro. Everything claro, is okay. Como la horchata. Claro, como las cámaras apagadas, right? That are in there. Okay. We will see in there. Hmm. Later on. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess some of yours. No, 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 but not everybody's sleeping. I know some of you are working yet. Good. You have to be happy, people. In less than two months, and we are on Christmas. And probably, probably, after this module, mm, we will continue with the module number five until next, next year, probably. Yeah, probably next year because on December, nah, it's, 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 it's not right on time. We don't have that much time. Okay, good. Como nadie le gusta preguntar, todo está super, super, super claro in everything. Podrían darme un ejemplo, por favor, de una pregunta nada más. Escríbeme una pregunta. Usando how many? Just one question, guys. Using how many? I want to read you guys to see what you have in there. Let me know when you finish, okay? Me hacen saber cuando hayan terminado esa pregunta. Something short. Good, Gabriel. Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, how many rice do you have in the hands? Uh, give me one second. How many rice? Rice, rice. But but rice is a rust, Mister. Yes. Uh, uh, but but rice is something uncountable, Gabriel. Ya rice sería oh. algo incontable, Gabriel. Eh, Mencioneme algo que podemos contar. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, sin modificar tanto la pregunta, how many fingers? ¿Cuántos dedos? How do you have in the hands? Exactly. How many okay. fingers do you have in the hands? Okay, thanks. Perfect. All right. Thank you to you, Gabriel. Good, good. Mario? How many students are in this meeting? Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, mister. I have 16 students. Jesus Christ. Out of 20, four are missing. Okay. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Ceci and then Jocelyn. Okay. Um, how many clothes do you need? You mean gloves or clothes? Clothes. Ropa? Yes. Eh, in this case, vamos a hacer una modificación, Iris. <laughs> ah, porque la palabra clothes, clothes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show it here. Le voy a press, la, voy a, mm -hmm. la voy a anotar acá. Listen. La palabra en sí, clothes, like this, es mm -hmm. incontable, es uncountable. Okay. 
Yes. Por lo tanto, no se utiliza con how many, sino más bien con how much. Usted puede decir, uh, por ejemplo, la palabra close en general, pero usted puede mencionar, for example, how, how many uh -huh, uh, shirts, how many skirts, how many pants, how many socks, all right, etc. Okay, mm -hmm. individually. This was our countable. Okay. Okay. All right. Teacher. Yes. Y este, how many teacher are the incorporate uh, English? Sí, aplica. How many teachers? Eso sí, listen. Que eh, todo nombre que coloquemos después de how many tiene que estar pluralizado. Ok. En ese caso teacher. sería teachers. Con ese. Con ese. Teachers. Correcto, Cristina. Ah. Es decir, la escribí con este o lo que lo pronuncié sin este. Ah, ok. Ajá. Good. Okay. Good. Pero, pero gracias por la aclaración. Ok. Good, good. Thank you, Cristina, to you. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? Do you want to give the examples, people? How many cars do you have? Ah, ok. Good. How many cars do you have? Me. In my case, I have just one. Marilyn? Yeah, how many apples are in the refrigerator? No, okay, good, good. Thank you, Marilyn. How many cars do you have? Uh, who's participating because I, I, I don't listen? Was what it was it you you did? Era usted? Yes. Uh, pero es que se le escucha como bien al fondo, Judith. No sé si es el micrófono. Can you speak again, please? Nothing. Hello. Ah, ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. How many houses do you have? Houses, in this case. Oh, houses. Yes, houses. You did. Were you in a party like a couple of days ago? No. Tenía fiesta por ahí algún par de días atrás? No. In the place that you work? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah. Me crees si le digo que anduve por esa zona. Ahí diré, no, me da hueso para ir there. Okay, good. Thank you for your uh, question. Okay, uh, somebody else? Everybody is going to participate. How many pupusas do you eat? How many pupusas do you eat? What a good question, Ruth. Jesus Christ, I'm I'm hungry and you're mentioning pupusas right now. And I don't know where to find out a pupusa here. Nah, man. Everything is close at this time in here. <laughs> that was a cool question. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Guadalupe, you were about to say something. How many skirts do you buy? Did ah. you, perdón, you buy? How many skirts do you buy? Okay, you did the question in past. Okay, good. Yeah, this is acceptable. Thank you, Guadalupe. So everybody else. Marilyn, you give your example already? Yes, Sí. Um, what was it? Yeah, it's how many apples are in the refrigerator? Ah, you're the, the one from the apples. Okay, and now remember. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Let me see who else is in here. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me see. Ivania, did you participate already? Yes, teacher. Mm. Uh, how many bus do you take to go to work? 
buses, Ivania. Buses, buses. plural. Mm -hmm. How many buses? Okay, very good. That's really nice. Okay, people. I guess you have understood the way how to use how much and how many. That's 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 really 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 perfect. Now, I just want you to go to your manuals, people. Ahora sí, quiero que abran sus manuales, por favor. Y nos vamos a la página nueve. And I want we to go to page nine. Now, since basically we have uh, been, you know, like discussing the structure and everything, okay? We're gonna work in these things. Listen, I'm gonna assign you a, a couple of people in every breakout room to work in this. What do you have to do in here, people? Look, it says in here, Match the different features on a product with the, its definition compared with a partner, it says. ¿Se acuerdan el vocabulario que vimos al principio? Size, height, uh, dimension, battery life, and everything. Good. I have it here. Lo tenemos acá. And over here, look, over here is the definition from that then. Okay? Aquí tenemos la definición, básicamente. Okay? from that product, okay? What do I really want from you people? I want you to match the concepts with the definition. For example, a modo de ejemplo, acá tenemos, dice, measurements or proportions of some kind. Medidas o proporciones de algún tipo. From this vocabulary over here, which one would you choose? ¿Cuál escogerían ustedes para poner acá? ¿Qué número? Measurements or proportions of some kind. What would be number four. Number four. four. And what it says number four? Dimensions. Dimension. Very good. Esa sería. Cuatro. Entonces acá, básicamente, lo que van a hacer es escribirle el número cuatro. A ver here. Y así sucesivamente me lo van a hacer. ¿Ok? I'm going to send you to work to the breakout rooms with these things. Los voy a enviar a los breakout rooms a trabajar en, en, en esta parte. ¿Ok? But not only on this one. When you finish this part, ¿Ok? I want you to go down. And it says in here, look. Ask the questions to a partner and write down the information. It says, how many products does your workplace buy? Which ones are they? Listen, ¿cuántos productos eh, compran en tu lugar de trabajo? Okay. Aquí estamos hablando about paper, computers, agendas, whatever things, you know, anything. Okay. Which ones are they? Acá, how many products? Aquí podemos poner they or my workplace buys Three products, for example. Three products. Y acá los mencionamos. Paper. Uh, what? Computers. Chairs. All right. And so on. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Gabriel. I understand you. Number two, it says, approximately, how many units do they buy of it? Aproximadamente cuántas unidades... All right, compran ellos. Acá igual, demos un aproximado, okay? All right, from those things. And then it says, how much money do you think they spend? ¿Cuánto dinero creen que gastan? Entonces acá ustedes pueden poner, they spend $100, $200, $500, depending on, on what's the product they buy, okay? Good. Something like, like kind of, you know, like easy for you. Cool. As long as you finish that thing, in here we have some extra examples. Que tenemos ejemplos extras, los usos de how much and how many, aplicando igual la, la, los contables e incontables. Y nos vamos a enfocar en esta parte. Take a look at this thing. Dice, complete the following questions using how much or how many. Entonces acá lo que vamos a hacer es, 
van a tomar o van a prestar atención a cuál es el nombre que tenemos acá. Si es contable o incontable, ustedes ya saben cuál poner. Si es contable, recuerden, how many. Si es incontable, how much. Ok, good. That's basically all we're going to do. Perfect. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre lo que vamos a hacer? Everything clear? ¿Todo claro? Okay. Good. If you don't have any question, just give me one second. I'm just going to resend the demonio. Jesus Christ, Ivania, Ivania, you don't have the manual? ¿Usted no tiene el manual, Ivania? No, teacher, lo andaba buscando en el link que nos mandaron, pero no me aparece. Ok, uh, permítame un segundo. Voy a conectar Gracias. acá para podérselo reenviar. No problem with that. I thought they had it in here. But I'm going to send it to you. No problem. Okay. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to. Mientras tanto voy a crear los grupos. Okay. Just for you to go to work. Va, pero necesito saber quiénes son los que estamos. Eh, que podemos participar. Y así pues no enviar a alguien. Con alguien que no, no vaya a participar. Podrían encenderme por favor las cámaras. Please. Los que vamos a participar. All right, Jocelyn. Thank you for telling me. Right, Jocelyn and Gabriel cannot participate. Uh -huh. Look at Ivania. It's like, like this. Ah, oh, I know. Me hizo despertar this. <laughs> no, let me see. Uh, let's see. I'm kidding, Ivania. Carla Mendoza is working. Maria Elena, can you participate? María Elena. Ok, I guess just not there. Mm, let me see. Mónica, can you participate? Ok, neither Mónica. Jorge, you can participate. Del teléfono puedo, si yo del teléfono soy, no hay problema. Uh, yes, con alguien que esté, que, que podemos estar y, y proyecte la presentación, la, lo, lo del manual, you can, you can participate with them, no problem. Okay. No, right, right. Let me see. Kevin, can you participate? Hmm. There are very few people in here. Okay. Let me see in that case. I'm going to create the groups. And they are going to be very few groups. I'm going to sign them manually. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, people, open up the breakout rooms.
good uh please let's let's accept Okay, I'm going to include myself into one group. Hello, Ivania. Nadie me ayuda con el manual. Ahorita, ahorita estoy, estoy abriendo la. la... Permítame. La sí, no se preocupe, que estoy abriendo la, la, el, el WhatsApp desde la computadora para poder enviárselo. Vaya, está bien, gracias. Ah, ok. Deme un segundo que ya. Ya mero se lo envío. Okay, gracias. Oh, mucho four. Okay, right now I'm gonna send it to you, okay? Okay. Ahorita, ahorita está cargando. Bye, gracias. Okay. Listo, ahí está. Ok. Gracias. All right. Good. Acá se Cristina, esperen. <risa> no se preocupe, tome el tiempo. Ay, sí. Ah, usted se lo mandaron por correo. O oh, se metió no. antes en el. Ah, el, el manual me metí a la, al, ahí al, al inglés corporativo del correo. Ah, pues quizás por eso. Es que antes lo mandaban por, por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces yo ahí lo tenía guardado. Ah, Pero ahí está. Se me había olvidado imprimirlo usted ya la. No, ¿Qué? me dicho, ya me trago la compu otra vez. ¿Qué pasó? Se me friqueó. Y mi compu <risa> no quiere. <risa> no, ya está. Y, y, y el Zoom ya me estaba dejando de funcionar. Y yo así como que, no, otra vez no. <risa> no, pero es que lo que pasa es que y fíjense que con las últimas actualizaciones de Zoom está súper raro. A veces saca de la, de la reunión, a veces se traba. No sé en qué estará. Está raro. Bueno, desde sí, las últimas bien. clases del módulo anterior. Vamos a tener la segunda parte de que se nos trabe la comp. <risa> right. Ok, good. Bueno, empecemos Go. entonces. Empecemos, pues. A ver cuál tiene. Y de la E, yo creo que es storage. Uh -huh. A ver. Thanks. I am coming. I'm gonna search this computer. Give me one second.
La F quizás es de... No es de 6. Es que siento que la D no es 6, porque 6 es como de talla. Uh -huh. Y la otra, la D, habla de... A ver, ahí tengo, ¿verdad? Una dimensión global de las cosas. Dimensiones. Y la Pero ya, F, ya, ya no se puede usar, vea. La F dice la masa relativa de un cuerpo y la cantidad de contenido en algo. Mm -hmm. No, no se puede repetir. Entonces usted dice así, el uno aquí y... La, la G pienso que es la eh, Price. Sí, la esa 3. es la Price. Ajá. Uh -huh. Funcionamiento. Uso práctico o propósito en el diseño. Ah, esa puede ser la dos, ¿verdad? La D, de peso. You're welcome. Yeah, boy. Y ahí no sería need, need to buy. Porque uh -huh. dice, ajá, o necesita comprar. Ah, uh, sí. Eh. Y el último era el, el ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cuál es? Ajá. La silla. La silla. La silla. Pero eso no, ajá. La número dos. Ah, bueno, entonces, si aquí nos está preguntando cuántas unidades, no le ponemos. Cantidad. Ajá, en esa no tendría que ir cantidad. F. Ya. Ajá. La 7. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque dice... Función, ve. Uh -huh. Relativo. Más. Uh 
cantidad de dinero que yo pagaba por algo. Mm, precio. Esa es la 3. La 3. Ajá. La, la G. La S es la 3. Ah, la G. No, la. Ajá. La G de gato. Sí, la G. So. Me avisa para pasar a la. Sí, ya estuvo, ya estuvo. How do you go, people? ¿Cómo vamos? Ahorita aquí en este. Terminando la primera. Eh, cool, desafío. Cool. Uh, uh, yes, creo que por motivos de tiempo, saltémonos de esa. Vámonos a la siguiente. Ok. okay. Let's go into the next one. That one. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Ok. Cool. Piezas que tú necesitas para ensamblar esto. No falta seis. Listen up, people. Eh, nomás, bueno. terminen, nomás terminen esa parte. Hello, do you listen to me? Sí, sí. Bueno, nomás terminen esa parte. Eh, por motivos de tiempo, pasemos a la siguiente, a la siguiente página, ¿ok? Al ejercicio 5, ¿ok? Vaya, está bien. Perfecto, perfecto. Perfect, perfect. Ok. Por ejemplo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Creo que es el teacher. Hello, yes. En la pregunta uno, está bien aquí. We buy five products. Yeah, five products. Y luego, for example. Mm -hmm. O de qué manera lo explicamos. No, you know what? Because of the time. Por motivos de, 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 de tiempo, déjelo hasta ahí, hasta ahí en esa parte. Bajemos a, lo, a, lo, a, lo, a la siguiente página. Da one. Me gustaría okay. que termináramos eso usando how much and how many. Ok. Just to okay. check it. Yeah, because it will take you more time for you if you, if you finish the questions. All right. Let's do that one. How many? How oh, many? Eight many. Oh, oh many. Six. That's it. Ya no había más. Solamente eso era. Ok. Solo eso era, teacher. Only that. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, only that one. Ok. How many exercise? How little time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you actually finished right on time. I'm just going to wait for, for, for the rest of the people. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Just for them to finish, okay? Then we're gonna go okay. back and check the exercises, and that's gonna be everything, okay? Okay. Perfect. We're gonna do that then. Only you two uh, are working in here, right? Kevin está por ahí, pero no lo vi participar. Ah, yeah, I mean, I, probably he's working on something else, doing something else. Okay. Perfecto, perfecto. I'm going to check these people. ¿Y este, cuántos módulos son de básico, teacher? Six. Six. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> pero, creo uh -huh. que, pero creo que vamos a retomar los módulos. Bueno, no sé. Creo que los vamos a retomar el otro año porque creo que de, terminamos hasta el 28, si no hay ningún inconveniente. Creo uh -huh. que para diciembre no, no salimos con el otro. Sería hasta el otro. En Exacto. diciembre no hay. Creo que no habría porque lo dejaríamos a medias. Si son seis módulos, son seis módulos de básico y seis módulos de intermedio y seis de avanzado. Correcto. Ok. O sea que uh -huh. estaríamos terminando en diciembre del otro año. Mm, 
me atrevería a decirte un poquito más tarde. Ah, ok. Por los intermedios okay. que hay entre módulos, you know. Uh -huh. Por las Exacto. tormentas de la traña. <ríe> Exacto. <ríe> Porque ahora sí, ya no hay excusa de, ah, oh, teacher, está lloviendo por acá, please. I'm not gonna get connected. <ríe> Ah, no. Pues cuando se cae la plataforma. ¿Ah? Cuando se cae y cuando se cae Zoom. Ah, no, no, sí, y más que Zoom, ahorita está dando mucho problema. Sí, Zoom ahorita. Ah. No, pero fíjese que no es solo Zoom. Bueno, yo recibo clases eh, de Excel los fines de semana uh -huh. y ocupo la, la otra, Teams. Pero al menos el fin de semana pasado. Pasé uh -huh. casi que dos horas intentando entrar y solo me dejaba, ni diez segundos me dejaba adentro y me sacaba. Well, Ajá, entonces a saber. Ajá, y solo yo estaba conectada con mi red, pues no había nadie más usando el internet. Entonces Ajá. era como que bien extraño. Súper raro. Ajá. Porque uh -huh. saturadas no están las páginas ahora. A mí las, las, o sea, ya no hay nadie, casi nadie en línea. That's weird. We got to get a custom. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, uh, creo que ya han de haber terminado, así que I'm going to close this thing and let's go to the main room, okay? Okay. See you there. Okay, so I guess everybody's coming. So uh, let's just check what you got, people, and then we leave, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to project this thing and just check what you have before going out from the platform. Very good, so we got in here. We had already done A, right? Pues básicamente ya estuvimos viendo a, a cuál era la, la, la primera, okay? The one from A. Cool. Now, let's continue with these things. Guadalupe, could you please read B and tell me the number that, that you match it be with, please? Eh, nosotros pusimos ocho, eight. Okay, leame la, 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 la definición, please, the warranty. Guarantee. Y leo toda la... Yes. Okay. Dice, I promise to repair, replace something within a period of time. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Is that, everybody has that one? Todos tienen la misma? Do everybody has that one, people? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, what she says is correct, right? That's guarantee. Cool. Ruth, read the next one, Ruth, please. Read the definition first, Ruth, and then tell me uh, the concept, please. Number one, number two. Let us see, let us see. Okay. Uh, mystery of battery performance uh, and longevity. Longevity, okay. uh -huh. longevity, uh, all right. Is, um, uh, number five. Uh, battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Okay, does everybody got that one right? Creo que todos tienen la misma, right? Battery life, perfect. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mario, read D, please. Uh, D. D. Size. Size. I think our hard dimension of magnitude. Ah, okay, size. So that's everybody got size, right? Todos tenemos que size. Ok. Perfect, perfect. Cristina, read E. Teacher, me perdí de, de, lo que me acaba de, decir, de lo que acaba de decir ahorita. La size es la D, entonces. D, exactly. Ah, que nosotros tenemos size de la 2, que voy a decir. Entonces sería la 1. Ok. Vaya, teacher. Eh, perdone que me dijo, teacher. Eh, read E. Lea no. la siguiente. The space available. La five. La five. No. 
Sí, sí. Literal. Eh, literal. Eh. Eh, tengo six. Seis, six. Ok, storage. Léame la definición, por favor. Eh, the space available, available, available. for the... Perdón. Available. Available. The, the space available uh, for retention of something. Something, Some, something. ok. Something. And you got a storage, right? Ok, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's correct. Thank you, Cristina. You're correct. Good. Ro Roberto, read uh, F, please. A body's relative mass or the quantity qua contained by something. By something, uh huh. Uh, for something, actually. No, mm -hmm. by something, right? That's for something is the other one. Good. What do you have in that one? Yo tengo one side. Size. Pero a no body's. Se había, se había listen, listen. A body's relative mass of quantity contained by something. What is that, people? Because that one is no size, Roberto. Right, number two. E Seven. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's number two. Wait, peso. Okay, that's what it is. All right, that's what it is. Good. Let's read the next one. Um, Ceci. Number uh, letter G. Ceci, are you there? Okay, so I guess I guess just another Judith, tell me a reading, please. A little G, the amount of money re required. Required. Required or paid for something. Uh -huh. Um, number three. Price. Price. Okay, very good. That's price. Precio. Okay. Thank you, Judith. Ivania, could you please read the last one, please? Please, please, please. Lea la última, por favor. Okay. Practical use or for purpose. 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 purpose in design. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you have in that in, one? Uh, seven function. Function. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ivania. Yeah, I mean, that's the way. Very good. So let's let's take a look at this one, the last one, and we're out, okay? Good. I want you to just read these things, okay? I want you to just read them. Marilyn, read number one. About using how much and how many. Marilyn, are you there? Mm. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, I'm there. Okay. And the and the first is how many? All right, but read everything. Leame la completa la pregunta. Ya okay. Un how many pieces do I need to ensemble this? To ensemble this. Okay. How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Okay. Very good. Thank you, Marilyn. Ruth, help me out with number two, please. What teacher? Number two. How uh, do that book cost? Uh -huh, uh, but how much or how many? Uh, how how much? How much? Yes. Are you sure? Oh no, how many perdón? How many do <laughs> these books cost? Segura. How uh, many? Yes. Are you sure? Very, very sure. Yes. How many? 
Sí. Ay, Tiche, sí se puede contar. No, Ruth, porque no estamos hablando de los libros en sí, sino el precio de los libros. Por eso. Entonces es how much. How much. Recuerde que con how much eh, 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 estamos hablando de dinero y el dinero no se puede contar. La palabra dinero no se puede contar. Ah. Por eso Ay, decimos how much. Lo puse, fíjese, pero es que no vi la respuesta donde lo puse. <risa> ok, all right, no Pero problem. Pero tengo buena. Ok, ok, good, good. Uh, Jorge, read number three, please. How many is the battery life of this computer? Uh, you got how many? Yes. Y... We're going to modify that one, ¿ok? Vamos a modificar esa, Jorge. En este caso sería how much, porque estamos hablando de la vida de una batería, ¿ok? Entonces acá es algo incontable. ¿All right? Entonces pondríamos how much. ¿All right? Good. All right, perfect. Uh, let me see. Somebody else is there. Mario. Read number four, Mario. How many hours do I charge it? How many hours do I charge it? Okay, very good. So in that case, it's how many, right? Porque estamos hablando de horas. Something countable. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Roberto, number five. Uh, sería how many? How many money do you have? Literal, me está preguntando cuántos dineros tengo. How many? <laughs> I know how much. Exactly. Recuerde, la palabra money es incontable. All right? The word money is uncountable. Okay. Y la clave que ustedes pueden tener es que la siguiente palabra después del espacio tiene que estar en plural. Si es plural, es contable. Si es singular, es incontable. All right? That's the way how we, are, we can identify them. Good. Uh, let me see. The last question. Ceci, are you there or you want to sleep, Ceci? Yes. Yes, you want to sleep? No. <laughs> okay. Read the last one, Ceci. Mm, eh, ¿Cuál es la cinco, vea? Yes. Um, how much? Uh, number five. I mean, number, number six. I mean... Number five, uh, Roberto, ready. Uh, number six, uh, yes. many. Ah, but really. <laughs> <laughs> How many gallons? Gallons, uh huh. Gallons of water does this need? Okay. How many gallons of water does this need? Good. A pesar de que la palabra water sea incontable. Estamos usando una medida, una unidad de medida. Entonces, por lo tanto, es contable, ¿ok? Porque aquí uh -huh. estamos hablando no del líquido en sí, sino de los galones, right? Something countable. So, in that case, that's why is how many. Si no hubieran galón, galones in there, y solo water, entonces sí sería how much. All right? Good, uh -huh. people. There you go. So, basically, uh, we have been discussing in that case the differences of how much and how many. Recuerden, how much con nombres incontables. How many with countable nouns, ¿ok? La mejor forma de poderlos detectar es que después de ese espacio, siempre el después de how much es un nombre en singular, porque todo nombre incontable es singular. Y después de how many es un nombre en plural, ¿all right? All the time. Toda la vida va a ser plural, ¿ok? Good. So I'm going to pass the attendance list, people, and that's going to be everything we're going to be doing, okay? Let me see. Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Present. Ah, okay. Good, Gabriel. Are you busy, Gabriel? Perdón, dicha. Are you busy right now? Uh, no. Okay, because since you're the first one, uh, I'm, I'm going to stay with you, okay? 
Okay. Nice. Uh, Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay. Thank you for getting connected tonight, Guadalupe. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, it is Cecilia. Ceci. No. Are you there? Ah, okay. I'm passing the attendance list, Ceci. Okay, present. Okay, cool, cool. Jorge Ismael. Present, teacher. Okay, mister. Mm, Jose Moises, uh, he didn't show up. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay, excellent. Carla Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Carla Lorena. I'm here. Okay, good. Still working, Carla? Yes. Sorry, Carla. Catherine Guadalupe. Uh, let me see, Catherine. I didn't see Catherine. All right. Uh, Kevin Ramiro. I guess he's there, but he's working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maria Elena. Present. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, nice. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Monica Maricela. All right, she got points and she couldn't get connected. Oscar Armando. All right, he didn't get connected. Patricia Guadalupe, she didn't get connected. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right, good. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Excellent. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Which is, ah, she just left. Okay. She let me know. Okay, people, it was a pleasure to have you here in the first video conference from this module. And let's see you tomorrow, okay, in the second one. Thank you for getting connected. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, people. Good night, up to you good night everybody. Good night, good night, teacher. Okay, good night, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. <laughs>
eh, pues ahí es de poderlo notificar para poderlo corregir. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Ah, perfecto, Gabriel. Entonces, no hay nada más que agregar. Ok, no, teacher. Ah, bueno, muy bien. Entonces, ahora sí, entonces lo dejo descansar, Gabriel. Ok, see you tomorrow in the second video conference, ok? Ok, teacher. Good All night. Right. Good night. Good night, mister.